Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're visiting a fish shop in a very unique location. It should be over there in that building behind me. Let's go check it out. So we're now basically standing on top of that building. Now from here you would have no idea that there's a fish shop here. There's a restaurant behind me. And the restaurant actually has a very nice koi pond. So let's check out the koi pond first. Pretty good size actually it starts over there and it goes all the way this way this way this way until there so it's pretty good size but it is quite shallow so it's only like uh i don't know it looks like it's only one meter deep or something like that we have some regular carp over here look at these guys absolutely massive there's a koi over there a white one oh there's one underneath the sign over there as well so it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. We were just over there on the other side and the owner of the restaurant allowed me to, uh, to take some more clips from this side. And so here they have another huge uh, pond section. There's another big koi over there. Yeah, there's more, than, more in here than I thought. Yeah, so from the outside you wouldn't know that there's a fish shop here, as you can see here in like restaurant park, and then stairs downstairs, Rifwachter Aquaria. So that's where we go right now. You can already see a nice display tank over there. Here we are. On the right side we have fresh water, and on the left side we have a nice salt water section. So let's start with the fresh water section first. So the store is called Rifwachter Aquaria and is located in Hilversum in the Netherlands. The shop has been around for many years already but was recently taken over by two new owners, Gertjan and Daniel. I've had a quick chat with both of them and they were super friendly and really passionate about the hobby. So the first thing that immediately catches your eye when you come into the freshwater section of the store is this massive plant holding tank. I've seen similar version of this in other stores, but never in this size and stocked with so many beautiful plants. It's kind of like a drop off style tank, so every section is a little bit lower and more shallow which gives a really cool effect. So I've just been walking around a little bit and this place has a really nice fish collection. And they have all the basic stuff, but then they also have like really rare fish that I've actually never seen before. And what I like is that everything is divided into continents. So over here, this section is mostly South America. And then if we go around the corner here, over here we have everything Asia. So super easy to find if you're looking for something specific. So over here, for example, we have our white cloud mountain minnows. We have cherry barbs. There's some marasboras on top over there. But then over here, they have a nice collection of rice fish. They have white ones. They have the yellow ones and the, uh, the diamond ones over there as well. And if you come over to this side, you have some really rare fish. I've never seen these guys before. Also this one on the bottom here. It looks really, really cool. And then this entire wall is all South America. And like they have all the common stuff like tetras and epistogramma. But then if you look closely, like there's some really interesting stuff as well. This one, for example, the um, Saika cichlids. Rarely ever see them for sale. Over here, I saw some really beautiful quarries as well. And they have loads of different types of quarries, and some of them I've never seen before. Here's a little teaser for you. This tank over here was in desperate need of some rescaping. So the store owners asked me if I want to do it. Of course I said yes. So we're going to do that probably next week or the week after that. And then by next to that, we actually have these store mascots. So we have a huge knife fish. Uh, his name is Lionel. And then we have this massive eel, I think. And his name is Ali. <laughs> these are the two store mascots, really funny. 
Now, whenever I'm visiting a fish shop, I'm always hoping to find some beautiful display things. And Riffwachter did not disappoint there either. My favorite one was probably this Oasis Cape Line with a very simple layout, but the plants were super healthy and the colors were popping. I also really like this low tech display tank because the edges were quite dark and gave the tank a mysterious look. This one was pretty cool as well and had some very interesting inhabitants, the short tailed pipefish. Okay, so I think we've seen everything on the freshwater section, so let's move over to the saltwater area. So probably the coolest thing on this side of the store was this nano cube on the counter. In here they had a mantis shrimp, a small but very aggressive crustacean. Here's a few clips of him during feeding time. So this entire wall here is all saltwater fish. They really have a huge, huge, huge selection. But it's not all saltwater. So if you go around the corner, they have another small freshwater section. And here they keep all the um, African cichlids, so Malawi cichlids, Tanganyika cichlids, stuff like that. I think this is pretty cool as well. They basically have, I guess, an empty sump. It's a little bit hard to see, but they filled it completely with wood. And you can actually buy the wood as well. So you can basically buy pre-soaked wood. It's not something you see very often. Of course, they have loads of dry goods as well. So over here, they have basically the whole entire assortment of dental products. Then over here, some more salt water products. We have Oaz over here. We have Chihiros. Uh, we have Eheim. And over here, we have Jewel. We have Superfish. And basically, I think the entire assortment of uh, Sierra products as well. So if you're looking for dry goods, then I'm sure they'll have it here. Okay, back to salt water. Now my knowledge of salt water is still very limited, so I don't really know any of the names. But here's a compilation of some really cool fish and other inhabitants that I saw during my visit. Another cool thing was this display tank. In here they had a couple seahorses and another type of saltwater pipefish. Okay guys, I think you, I showed you everything this store has to offer. I'll leave their website and their address in the video description. If you're ever in the area, go check them out. It's actually quite close to Amsterdam as well, so that's the end of the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. See you guys next time.